Lil Nas X, is he an industry plant? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think he's an industry plant. There's mad industry plants. I was watching this kid on YouTube. What's his name? When I see it again, I'm going to probably follow you on Twitter. When, when I see people making engaging content and thinking outside the box and thinking from rational perspectives that's different from the fray, not just copying other people's content and shit like that, I like to follow those people because those people are great or they could be great. I was watching this kid's videos like 13 minutes and he was kind of predicting, he said, these people are industry plants. No lie. Everybody, he said, was an industry plan. And by the way, this is a outsider. Not saying I'm an insider because I still feel outside to the industry. But I know the tactics, like, firsthand. Like, I know what these niggas are doing to get certain people hot when they have zero, like, organic growth foundation. And homie was right with, with like, three people in a row who he called industry plans. Not saying he called Lil Nas X1. But he called a couple other people industry plants, and I was like, they are. <laughs> like, you got it, bro. They are. And he, he said something very dope and important. I got to remember this kid's name. He said, not because they're an industry plant means the music can't be good or isn't good. So not because you like someone's music means they're not an industry plant. It's how did you get to be exposed to that music? That's why they're an industry plant. You feel me? They're literally being forced up on you. And uh, yeah, they might have good music or not. And some people might say, well, if they have good music, what's the problem? The problem is that it fucks up the original growth process of any new artist. And you get these major labels or big conglomerates or people with this money and who are the puppeteers of this whole industry. They just place who's the next person the audience should like. They basically take away your... your Ability to choose by making you feel like you have chose. Um, and yeah, that, that's an industry plan tactic. So th this kid on YouTube, like, he was pretty good at like pointing out all of them. And I, and the, the, the crazy thing about it, I was watching him and I was like, if this nigga only knew how right he was. Yo, boom, what up, bro? Salute to my nigga Boom, man. Oh, this little thing. Lil <laughs> Grant Wilson. He said Lil Nas is gay. His label's trying to set up a fake relationship with Lil Xan, ex-girlfriend, who's Billy Ray Cyrus' daughter. I believe that's Noah Cyrus. <clears throat> I don't know if he's gay. But Columbia is doing industry plan shit. That's some industry plan shit. When you're putting people in fake relationships, you're having them cheese and smile on the gram, and they, it's not authentic. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, and the Columbia CEO, he follows me on Twitter. Columbia ruined Lil Xan's career. And it's not their fault because they're doing just regular big label, we don't understand culture shit. It's Lil Xan's fault because he took the bag. They gave him and they offered him the biggest bag. They've had him do goofy and clown shit ever since then, and it's just worked in reverse of what it's intended to do. They try to put Lil Xan in a fake relationship. Like, what, what type of shit is that? Like, bruh, what? Like, that type of shit is just, it just shows you how out of touch and how much they feel like they could control and manipulate the audience. Right? Like, relationships are popping. Everybody looks at, like, trippy relationships and couple other artists who show off a girl publicly. Well, we could help our artists. Because let's keep it real. I love you, Lil Zen. But you flopping, bro. You're flopping. And the money they gave you, you're flopping because you're not selling as much as they would expect you to sell. You're white. They think you should sell more. Or is he white or he calls himself Cuban? I don't know. But they expect you to sell a lot more, my nigga. That's pretty much it, right? You're not doing that. They're figuring out. They're trying to figure out why they feel like people hate you. They're trying to make you more lovable. Of course, you have your own demons yourself. They're trying to like put you with women you're not really with. Like it's, it's weird. So now they got Lil Nas X, and they're doing the same corny bullshit. Yo, uh, again, I don't know if he's gay. The whole rumor was that his come up was that he was a Nikki Stan. 
He was a barb. And remember when I told you the barbs hacked me, the majority of the barbs that hit me up via, via text after they leaked my number were gay men. The barbs have a high concentration of sassiness, okay? A lot of gay dudes, they rock with the barb movement. You get me? Nothing wrong with it. Could Lil Nas X, because if he was running a Nicki Minaj fan page before he got to be Lil Nas, could he be gay? I mean, I could understand how some people make that assumption. Is he gay? I don't know. Maybe somebody has some info about a dude he's fucking, a dude he's sucking, something of the sort. I don't know. Don't really care that much. He doesn't seem like he's pushing sexuality at this point, so don't care. But that is going to be a, a thing of question because in the age of now where as soon as you get popular, Shade Room wants to find out who you're dating, who you're pictured on, like walking on Melrose and all that type of shit. If you're homosexual, it'll come out. So maybe they're trying to hide it. Maybe they're trying to... I don't know, create an image for him, and I don't, I don't know what the fuck, bro, but I could see Columbia doing that shit, and that shit's corny, and that's gonna backfire, because if he actually is gay, let that nigga live out his, his dreams, it, it'll work better than y'all try to give him a fake relationship, trust me on that, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you're asking crazy ass questions. Yo, Cook, my guy.